Good morning. Today we're here at Dollar Tree. We're gonna go and check out some of the items, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Yeah, as soon as we come into Dollar Tree here, I wanted to check out some items people have been asking about. One of them, rice a roni. Now we saw these at Kroger for a dollar a piece. So a dollar twenty-five here, a uh, little much, but regular price at Kroger is a dollar thirty-four. So um, after that sale, this will be worth it. What's definitely worth it here at Dollar Tree now are the Idaho and potatoes for $1.25. Let's see, they are still four ounces. Somebody wanted me to check to see if those have shrink flated. They have not. Still the same four ounces, $1.25, $1.49 now at Kroger and Meyer. So good deal here. One thing I know that has been going up in price at a lot of stores has been like Parmesan cheese. Now this is a pretty small thing of Parmesan cheese uh, for $1.25, but you know, we've been seeing some of the bigger ones like this go from three to four dollars in some stores. And this is two and a half ounces. Let's see, this is grated topping with Parmesan. This is eight ounces for a dollar twenty-five. So if you're not too brand specific, this is a pretty cheap price. We got some good comments on this bullseye barbecue sauce this honey barbecue sauce they also have the original back and they didn't have these the last time we were here this is i've tried the original here it's not bad uh i like sweet baby rays and craft but uh well here's the craft right here and we've been seeing this go up in price too we'll see it on sale from time to time um at kroger but they do have the sweet brown sugar here for a dollar 25 that's not bad uh, that's either the same or cheaper than anywhere so it looks like they have the montezuma hot sauce back in this is the cayenne people on the channel were comparing this to frank's red hot i don't think it tastes like frank's red hot but i don't know i like frank's red hot i put it on everything uh this is three ounces though this used to be four ounces i i recognize it i can tell the bottle's a little smaller like it used to be about this tall but it was a little fatter um haven't seen these in a while though so not too surprised that it comes back in um, you know, all items are $1.25 here, at least at our Dollar Tree here. And, you know, usually what happens is we'll see it go away for a while and then it'll come back and it'll be smaller. So we'll see a lot of shrinkflated products at Dollar Tree, but I guess they have to do that to keep up with the prices and keep the prices cheap. $1.25, I know when they first started doing this at Dollar Tree, it was a bit of a headache for everybody, me included. But nowadays, you know, we're finding good deals again because of all the high rising costs at the grocery stores. Somebody asked about salsa the other day. I pointed out a few at Kroger that were okay deals. I like to pay salsa, but I have tried the Santitas mild salsa here. This is actually pretty good. And for $1.25 these days, that's an okay price. We got a lot of good comments on this taco sauce right here. I've still never tried it, the Gasparas. Gasparas, however you say that, but it is a lot of taco sauce here for $1.25. And they got some Worcestershire sauce uh, back in here. Let's see, now this is 10 ounces. This used to be 12 ounces, so it has shrinkflated as well. This is another one that I haven't seen at Dollar Tree in a long time. Same brand, but yeah, this definitely shrunk a couple ounces. I could tell just by looking at the bottle. This was another one that was a little shorter, but it was fatter at the bottom. So here's another product that we got some good comments on. The Save, Savvy Fair whole grain brown rice here. Um, I tried this because of the good comments. I'll be honest with you, I did not like it at all. It was very bland. Uh, I had no real flavor. And some of this stuff, I'll point out some of the ounces. This is 8.8 .8 ounces. I feel like this is the same size bag when I bought it a long time ago. But yeah, I didn't really care for that. Now here's another item that I tried a while back. We got some good comments on the Utopia Butter Flavored Pancake Syrup. Um, I'm not too big on maple syrup in general, but I didn't really care for this. Um, if I get any, it's usually just the Kroger brand because it's fairly cheap. $1.25 for this. I mean, this this isn't bad. This is 20, 24 ounces here for $1.25. But yeah, we tried it one time. I didn't really care for it. So here's something interesting. I remember a while back somebody asked if I would look for the McDonald's maple syrup. Now, I don't know if this was the same size. This is 1.5 ounces, very small for $1.25, but we got a very good comment on this. Let me go down in the comments if you've tried this. 
they do have their herbal helpers tea back in. Uh, somebody was asking about this a while back. This is 17.6 grams, uh, 20 plus two free tea packets. So 22 tea bags there. Got the detox boost, got the energy boost. Haven't seen these in a while. They also have the green tea. Got some pretty mixed reviews on this. I would say more bad than good. It is still 100 tea bags. But one of the comments we got, or a couple comments, a lot of people are saying you pretty much have to use two tea bags because they're very weak. One of the main things that I wanted to focus on here today is the spices. We've been seeing a lot of spices kind of fly off the shelves in a lot of different stores. Um, oh, here's the cumin. Yep, this is the one I was looking for. Somebody asked about cumin. Haven't been able to find it. Um, it is $1.25 for this, but at least they have it in. Ground cumin there. They've got the ground black pepper got the grinder too if you like grinding up the, the peppercorns there got some parsley flakes a lot of things that we're having trouble finding in stores no real problems with chili powder uh, they do have garlic salt here too garlic powder is the one we've been finding everywhere garlic salt's been a tough one and we'll check out some of the sugars and stuff here in a minute and different salts but they do have the fine himalayan pink salt we always get comments on this Dollar twenty-five for five ounces. Um, you know that feels pretty heavy compared to most uh, bottles this size. Now this is five ounces, so not really sure what the size was at Walmart's at Walmart, but I think Walmart was like two twenty-five or something for there. So it might have been a little bit bigger. But somebody asked about this one, so I just want to point it out. So one thing we've gotten a lot of comments on lately, and they do have. A lot of different Goya products here. They've got the red beans. These are $1.49 pretty much everywhere. Some places $1.99. And the chickpeas, garbanzos here. These are $1.99 in a lot of places now. $1.25 here. So keep that in mind if you're one of the 100 people that have commented on Goya beans here in the last couple months. They also have the black beans here. Black beans. Now these are, you know, depending on where you go. I believe at Walmart they're still $1.49. But some places $1.99 now. So more and more people are shopping canned goods at Dollar Tree because prices at like Kroger and Meyer have kind of really gone up on stuff like Chef Boyardee. They don't even sell the kitchen classics there. These at $1.25 a can. I would still get these. The chicken noodle soup's pretty good. Never tried the beef barley, but uh, we've gotten a couple comments on it. Healthy choice here. You know, I felt like these were okay when they were a dollar. Dollar twenty-five seems a bit much. Um, but the one thing I've, I've said in previous videos, like, I feel like they changed the ingredients to this. Like, I don't really like it much anymore. One good deal that they still have here at Dollar Tree is the Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Uh, this is the, yeah, Chicken Noodle, 25% bigger can. Uh, $1.25 now, okay, let's see if this is the, okay, 13.8 ounce can. Okay. So, still same size, 25% um, bigger than the 10.5 ounce can that you're going to usually get at like Kroger. Like Kroger don't sell these, so $1.25 for this is not bad. Um, I don't see the chicken and rice. Uh, that was one we saw the other day uh, at Dollar General. They were selling for $1.90, and I thought they might have it here for $1.25, but it doesn't look like they do. Uh, same with the tomato soup, though. 30% bigger on this one than the 10.5 ounce can that you get at most grocery stores. $1.25. So you're paying about the same price as you are everywhere, but you're getting more. So if you are one of the many viewers that have commented on the Bumblebee little chicken uh, tuna to go packets here, um, $2.49 to almost $3 at most stores for the Bumblebee. However, Bumblebee makes this okay so and these are $1.25 and I get these I've gotten a lot of these before the Brunswick is the same thing it tastes the exact same these are three ounces um, and they're good they're the exact same as the Bumblebee and they're $1.25 so you can get two of these for what for what you would pay at one for one pretty much anywhere else let me know down in the comments if you think that these have shrunk. I kind of feel like they have. This mackerel filet and soybean oil is 3.53 ounces. The bag looks smaller. I 
feel like that's the same size, but I don't know. We got the chicken of the sea. We get comments on chicken of the sea from time to time. And I just saw these. This is three ounces uh, in water. So dry, it's going to be a little less. So I don't know. Um, chicken of the sea, you know, can get a little pricey. So $1.25 for that may not be a bad deal. But let me know down in the comments if these look a lot smaller to you. They do me. You know, we've seen bumblebee tuna kind of go up in price lately, too. Um, not too much more. I know I saw, I think at Meyer, I believe they're $1.39 a can. Well, this is albacore. So this would probably be a little more anywhere. $1.25 for that is a pretty good deal. Some of those get around $2. However, the chunk light tuna here uh, would be the cheaper one. $1.25, I believe, is still cheaper than uh, what they were selling at Meyer. We'll have to check. Um... But yeah, you know, it's like even at $1.25, we're still finding some okay deals here. So sometimes we'll find like a deal on macaroni and cheese. We got a comment on macaroni and cheese the other day and how uh, you weren't able to find any. But boy, we dealt with that problem. It's been a while. It's been months. But I remember when macaroni and cheese was hard to come by. $1.25 for the Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's about the regular price of what it is everywhere now. What I like is that they actually carry it. 7.25 ounces. I feel like that's the same size it's always been. Um, yeah, here's something. So, like these crispy onions here. I know some of, we've got mixed reviews on these. I remember back like during Thanksgiving, um, like people were saying to buy these because French's onions have gotten ridiculous for, for the little small container of the French uh, crispy onions it was, it's up to five dollars and 29 cents now at Kroger so for this 2.8 ounce bag I feel like it's the same size almost uh, for a dollar 25 I mean it's definitely worth a shot for that price so I didn't even think that Dollar Tree sold Hungry Jack anymore complete original pancake and waffle mix this is still 16 ounces so this is not shrunk I mean, yeah, it's smaller for Dollar Tree, but this is the one they've always sold. Dollar twenty-five. Yeah, it was nice when it was a dollar, but today, you know, these price, these things, kind of things are getting pretty expensive at like Kroger and Meyer and some other places. Uh, good, okay deals at Target for this, but dollar twenty-five. Um, I don't know why I keep saying that. Everything in here is dollar twenty-five. We have tried these maple and brown sugar oats. I do not recommend them. Check out some of the coffee creamers here. The non-dairy creamer. They have the French vanilla here. This is 8 ounces. I, this used to be bigger. I don't know what the ounces was, but it used to be taller. Um, not really sure. It's definitely shrunk in size. But, um, yeah, let me... Okay, so here's something I wanted to find out here. Now, this is not the Bastello, but it looks exactly like it. Um, let me know down in the comments if you've tried this one. Now, this is the six ounces for $1.25. Seems like a good price. But, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you've tried this one and if this is the exact same thing as Cafe Bastello. So, virtually no sugar options. Well, they do have the Domino one pounds here for $1.25, but we saw that Kroger drop their price to four pounds. Uh, it's on a digital coupon for $3.99 for four pounds. So, that would be the deal um regular price is 4.49 at kroger and they do have the nancy jane all-purpose flour that is two pounds uh boy i don't see any salt i know that was one thing i wanted to check out there's been a lot of comments across the country that salt has been low or out in some stores so it's definitely something we want to keep our eyes on i did find the iodized salt here superior u.s salt 26 ounces and they have a special price on it 69 cents so yeah Okay. They also have a special price on the baking soda here. A few months back, we were getting comments that baking soda was very hard to find. We saw that it was very low in our stores also. Uh, 69 cents. Yeah, well, that's good. Good that they're doing this now. Hopefully, we see more of these. These ramen noodle packs have all of a sudden become a good deal here at Dollar Tree. It is a five-pack for $1.25, but... We see the six packs at Kroger for two dollars, so good savings here. More importantly, they have it. We've been getting more and more comments about ramen kind of flying off the shelves lately too. They also have the chow mein packs here, which is actually a good price, dollar twenty-five. Most of these have been about a dollar fifty everywhere. Look at these little teeny tiny things of craft mayo here. 
I mean, you know, if you don't eat much mayonnaise, I guess a dollar twenty-five. You know, this has gotten up to like six dollars in a lot of stores. So let's see, this is eight ounces. Eight ounces. The ones that were up to six dollars, about six dollars, were uh, thirty ounces. So probably works out. Check out some of the freezer items here, uh, refrigerated items. They got a bunch of the Donald Duck. Also, someone had said, "Now I try, <laughs> some of these are terrible. I tried the fruit punch of this, and I did not like it at all. Somebody, uh, we got a couple good comments on the orange juice. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I did like it way better than the fruit punch. I did try that the last time I was here. They got some of the Bar S Deli Shaved Hams. Very thin. Four ounces. Four ounces. So, But for $1.25... You know, like Hillshire Farm and Cons for nine ounces is right about five bucks. I'm not a big fan of the Bar S, but it's cheap. I haven't seen shredded cheeses here at Dollar Tree in months, maybe longer. Um, never tried any of the cheese here at Dollar Tree. Let me know down below if uh, any of the cheeses here are any good. Boy, these Lunchables have really shrinkflated. <laughs> wow, like a few crackers. Like, I mean, you might as well. I don't know, like for $1.25, I feel like you could spend an extra 50 cents and get the whole pack with everything and maybe still not get full, but that's just a tease right there. They do have the armor packs, but these look smaller too. These look like they've been cut in half. Let's check the size on that, 2.44 ounces. We'll have to check like when we go to Walmart or something, because that's really... As far as like these kind of things, Walmart's really the only thing we can compare with prices because I think these are like a dollar fifty now at Kroger, but they might be bigger at Kroger. Not really sure. Small portions of bologna. See, this is what I, you know, like a lot of these things we didn't go over the last time we were here, but they have really shrinkflated a lot of products to kind of keep with the prices. Like, let's check this out here. Got some bologna. Got some cotta salami there. Okay, cotta salami. Oscar Mayer for $1.25. I mean, that's like, you know, it's very small. It's, it's like cut in half. What you're going to get work. Uh, John Morrell here. The hot smoked sausage uh, links right here. That That's a pretty good deal. And these Jimmy Dean single sandwiches are becoming a good deal because they've gotten so high in the grocery stores. Um, Hot Pockets, another item that has just kind of skyrocketed in price. You can't find a two-pack for less than $2.99 anymore. So $1.25 for this, you know, you're paying $2.50 for two of them. We used to get a lot of comments on Hot Pockets. Don't know much about these waffles. I've never tried them. You only get six waffles. I know most boxes you get eight to ten. So I don't know what the size on those were before, but they do have the fries, the crinkle cut fries here. This is 14 ounces. You know, if they're any good, you know, it's another frozen potato products have skyrocketed in price at the grocery store. So if you like these kind of fries, $1.25, that's a great price. Man, got a lot of these frozen fruits back in here. Wow, this is awesome. Uh, let's see, this is 10 ounces. 10 ounces for $1.25. Got the strawberries and banana. Got the mango chunks. Let's see this one here. Okay, tropical blend. This blend right here, it's a little smaller. Uh, smoothie starter, strawberry, banana, kiwi, spinach. All right. Wow, I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree in a long time. Here's the blueberry somebody commented on. Wow. Good day to come to Dollar Tree. Yeah, $1.25 for that, 10 ounces of blueberries. That's a good deal. They've also got more of their frozen vegetables in here. Also, they've got the mixed vegetables here. This is 14 ounces um, you know, dollar twenty-five, fourteen ounce, twelve ounces at Kroger is a dollar twenty-five. So better deal here. Um, and they got a lot more in uh, than the last time we were. It's good to see. Good to see here. Got the peas and carrots. I, I'm. I was excited to see these blueberries. Somebody left a comment the other day that dollar your Dollar Tree had the blueberries coming back in. That's a good deal. All kinds of stuff coming back in here. This is my favorite Dollar Tree right here. Everybody's very nice. Really nice place. Uh, we actually got a couple of comments on that extra value beef patties. I don't know. I still, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody, I remember a lot of you guys were saying these were pretty good. I got one of these. I was like, uh, I don't know. I mean, for a dollar twenty-five, a cheeseburger, you know, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's not great. 
Got some little packs. Wow, those are tiny. Little teeny tiny packs of chicken nuggets here. Tyson chicken nuggets, spicy. Yeah, you know, or a quick lunch or something. I can see that. Got the extra large burritos down here, $1.25. These have been getting expensive in a lot of different grocery stores. Um, some of these big burritos. I know, like, if you get this at, like, a like a gas station or something, you usually see these at a gas station. They could be $3, $4. $1.25 here. More things that I've never seen before here at Dollar Tree. Oh, they've got these. Ooh, I've never tried these, but... People have said, I've, I don't think we've gotten one good comment on these Luigi meatballs. And this is another item. Someone said shrinkflated. Uh, I don't see the weight on there. Let's, let's have a look. Okay. It is five ounces. I don't know what the weight was before, but it does look smaller. Good to see they've got a lot more of their Celeste pizzas back in. We've gotten good comments on these. $1.25, you know, I mean, that all of a sudden, that $1.25 is looking pretty good with a lot of these high prices everywhere. Got a little bit of Texas toast here. Six slices of Geo's. Wow. I don't know. I haven't seen these in a long time either. Again, let me know down in the comments if you've tried these. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good deal. They got these uh, pretzels back in here. Big soft pretzels. I tried these a long time ago. They're pretty good. I mean, they're, you know, it's a pretzel. You heat up in the microwave it's <laughs> okay so here we have the Michelina meals now okay so these are the eight ounces someone said that um, the eight to nine ounces have shrunk at Dollar Tree that they were smaller uh, like six to seven ounces of the Michelinas looks like these are still eight ounces or more and and the funny thing is these actually look bigger than the ones at Kroger. So, well, okay, now this one is six and a half ounces, but this is the cheesy. I don't know if it just varies for different products. Not really sure. Um, but again, yeah, we'll have to check some at like Kroger because I do feel like the macaroni and cheese that we saw the other day at Kroger looked like it was in a different box. Don't know what the size was, but the box looked different. The advertising. Not too big on Sunkiss products, but you can get a whole two liter here. Um, you know the price, $1.25. They also have RC here. That's interesting. RC. Um, with pop prices kind of going through the roof, $1.25 is a good deal. So we do see that they're getting more different types of cereals in here. It's been a long time since I saw the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They're all coming in different packs now. I do feel like they are a little smaller. Um, especially the Cheerios. Cheerios and Honey Nut Cheerios, 2.2 ounces of Cheerios here. I know this used to be bigger. Not sure what the size was before, but it was definitely bigger. And the Honey Nut Cheerios. Uh, Fruity Pebbles. <sighs> this was in a bigger bag too, but I feel like this was three ounces when we checked a long time ago. I feel like this is the same weight as the bigger bag was. And that could be the same with some of these, but they definitely look smaller. Um, so they got Fruit Loops back in. Like, I think this is still the original bag. Yeah, see this? This is the original bag. And this is 3.1 ounces, so it is kind of deceiving. Okay, so I wanted to check out some of these shelf-stable milks. Been getting a lot of comments on these lately. The Modern Pantry here, people. I, I don't think we've had a bad comment on this. Uh, you definitely want to make sure that you check the expiration dates on it. But they got them all back in here. They got the whole milk. I know 1% was the one some people were looking at. Uh, they have the, uh, the oat milk here. And they have the... Um, the Gossner. I know the Gossner is one that a lot of people like. And then they have the Almond Vanilla and the Almond Original down there. Uh, good to see these are starting to come back in. Uh, for a while there, they couldn't keep these on the shelf. Okay, so it's not really a great deal, but I got a good comment on this peanut butter honey spread. Uh, people compared it to the Peter Pan honey peanut butter, which I love. I got this. It is actually very similar. It tastes a lot like that. You know, $1.25. You know, and if, depending on, you know, if you can buy up the sales and save and get more sizes and stuff, you know, that's the way to go. But I understand that, you know, if you don't have much money and you just need to get a few items to get by, you know, I've been there. I know, you know, I know at times are tough sometimes. And it's like, this could get you through a couple weeks, you know. And I mean, that's when, you know, sometimes we have to look at things like that. 
And, um, you know, some of these items, like, like say you want something a little fancier, but you can't afford Nutella because it's gotten ridiculously expensive. Got some hazelnut spread here. Get a little bit of peanut butter, mix it together. Not too bad. You know, and some of these snacks and stuff, you know, I mean, some of these are still some really good prices. I don't know about them Lance crackers, though. Well, that was our quick trip to Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. I really do. You know, it's like if you, and again, if you're on like a tight budget or something, or if you're living paycheck to paycheck, week to week, day to day, you know, it's like, it's good to think about the deals and, and save up and buy the sales as you see them. You will save a lot more money in the long run. But I understand that if you're on a tight social security or, or don't have much money, Dollar Tree could really work out for you. You know, it did me years ago, you know, so it's like, I know that it, it's tough sometimes. We've got a lot of comments, you know, people with lower incomes and hard to get by. Dollar Tree is an option. And with a lot of the shrinkflated products, we're seeing shrinkflated items everywhere. It's just more noticeable at Dollar Tree and Dollar General because they cut the packaging or they cut it in half and you can you can really tell. You know, it's like places like Kroger and Meyer and some of these bigger giant stores, they're they're hiding the sizes in the same boxes. A lot of this stuff. We noticed what the Nature Valley bars the other day that I was showing you. How it's the same size box, but the bars are a lot smaller. A lot of trickery in that. I probably, I need to pay more attention to the ounces and sizes in these boxes, but it's hard to kind of focus on all that stuff. So anything that you ever see in the videos, make sure you let us know down in the comments if the products have shrunk inside. I looked for the saltines, saltine crackers. I did not see them in there. Uh, I know that that is a shrink flated product, but look at the prices of some of these crackers and stuff. Regular price for the Nabisco saltines at Kroger's is $4.49. That's way too much. But guys, thank you so much for joining me on the walkthrough of Dollar Tree. It was a lot of fun. Love this store. Um, and you can always find some good items, you know, and $1.25 is $1.25. If it's not worth it to you, don't buy it, you know, but some of it is. Uh, a lot of the like birthday stuff, cards, uh, lots of Valentine's Day stuff in there that we didn't cover. Um, but yeah, for holidays and stuff like that, this place is great. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember, the adventure is out there.